<laughs> okay. I don't know if Joseph wants to introduce the next person or if you want me to introduce the next person. Uh, why don't you do it? Yeah. Okay, I can totally introduce the next person, which I think is Richard. Is that yes. right? Okay, I am. Yes? Yes. yes. You're right. Okay, I'm introducing Richard, who is a fabulous person and a published author, and he's going to read something amazing that is going to be better than anything else that you have seen today. <laughs> all right. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> no pressure. No pressure at all. Yay, Richard! Yay. How can I make this work? All right. What is this, everybody? What is it? Uh, it's an neuron. It's oh. brain cell. And it brought me some courage, too. All right. What I'm reading is very short, <coughs> which is good for you. My brain cell. Oh, my shirt's falling out. My brain cell sits on a shelf on my desk, lonely and unused. The dendrites look chew, look uh, ragged, as if a cat has been chewing on them, which is probably true, which explains a lot. I suppose, and I'm trying to remember what the last time I used this particular neuron, or why I took it out, and I simply can't. Perhaps this is the brain cell that holds those memories. I don't know for sure. Only one way to find out, I suppose. So I pop open my head, and I put the brain cell inside. I wait for a moment. The nibble dendrites will probably make it hard for the neuron to fit in with my brain. But eventually it does, and the memories come flooding back. There's a man I don't recognize in a mirror, a giant axe in his hand. An axe all covered in blood and gore. He's done something, that man. Something terrible, something that involved his wife. As the brain cell settles in, the memory clarifies. Yes, it happened in the basement. The man had done something horrific to his wife. I'm sorry? Gone. Uh, the man had done something horrific to his wife. Then, afraid that his neighbors would find out what had happened, he sealed her up in the wall behind the bookcase. And the more I look in the mirror, the more I, reflect, the more I remember this reflection. The dark beard, dark hair, the short beard, the flannel shirt, the jeans, the boots. Yes, this is me. This explains why my wife hasn't been around. My heart's pounding. I'm beginning to sweat. I don't want to hold on to this memory. So I, take out my, I open up my brain, my head, and I take out this offending neuron. I open up. The memory, memory fades. I begin to calm down. Not sure of why I was panicking in the first place. I put the brain cell on my desk. And there it sits, lonely and unused. And I wonder what it was for. The end. I have nothing else. <laughs>